Hello everyone, this is Adam, and I'm so glad you clicked on this video. Real quick, I wanted to plug our recent comic, Graveyard Slaughter, for $10 at GraveyardSlaughter.com. It's two writers, four stories, all horror set in the 80s. Great story, great anthology. And then also on the website, we are selling what we call sketch covers. Sketch covers, completely blank. You can have whatever you want drawn on the cover. Ooh, ah, for $60. And as an example... I had a friend who's a musician, and I wanted to do a Bohemian Rhapsody kind of tongue-in-cheek uh, cover based on that, on Queen's cover, Bohemian Rhapsody. So, just as an example. So let's jump into the video. So, as my hand glides over the page here, I just wanted to call attention to the top left-hand screen, part of the screen, is my thumbnails. So I start with my thumbnails, I do a series of them, like two or three, just to kind of get a feel for the composition, what I want to do. Um, here I wanted to do a real close-up of this this character Battle Beast and he is from the in comic Invincible which if you haven't read this comic it's amazing guys it's so good uh, written by the same guy who wrote The Walking Dead Robert Kirkman it's drawn by um, one of my favorite artists and he his name is uh, Ryan Otley so definitely check out this book if you get the chance but this character Battle Beast he's first introduced he's this adrenaline junkie fighter and that's all he wants to do is fight and so he's got the head of a lion this giant muscled big bodied guy and so that's what we're wanting to illustrate here so with my thumbnail that's just basically my guide for how i'm going to lay out this piece so the thumbnails are important it's just kind of a nice reminder to have there um just like a quick reference from time to time as i'm drawing this piece so i'm going over and over lightly with pencils and then I'll eventually get to my inks. I have, there you see the left hand corner, uh, my photo reference. So this is actually the character drawn out, Battle Beast on the left hand side on my phone. And then I also have this lion picture that I keep referencing as well. So I want to get these, these uh, wrinkles of the face and the, the teeth alignment, those things um, very accurate. So what I'm drawing there at the right, top right hand screen is a shattered skull. Uh, so that's a word or th word bubble, essentially, of what he, his intentions. So now I'm jumping into the inks right now. You can see my hair there. Um, uh, so with this, I mean, I got my Pentel brush pen, a fantastic brush pen, uh, just going over the pencils. And when you do your inking over your pencils, you want to start with the portion of the page that is technically closest to the viewer that's gonna be a lot easier than like drawing in the background and then working your way up you want to work your way from the top back and so here my background is actually really simple but I'm um, going over all the details like I said and getting all the hairlines and the braids on, a, on, on the, his mane and then make sure to get those wrinkles in the face to get that aggressive angry look because that's what he is he's this aggressive angry guy amazing character so that's the piece uh, that we're drawing here um and then we'll start looking at and then the next phase will be my tones and then i'll be finishing up with some splatter effects that really bring this piece together so right now i'm just kind of going in a little details putting in a uh, little uh, fur patches and now I'm going over the skull, the shattered skull at the top right hand, so you can clarify, you can see that clearly now, what that, uh, what is supposed to be. Um, and what you can see in this photo is I actually have a plastic replica skull that I have sitting just right in front of me as reference. And I bought that uh, a while back, believe it or not, I'm not very good at drawing skulls for whatever reason, so I... I one to alleviate that and I want to be able to draw skulls at any angle you know if I need that um, I draw a lot of horror comics so skulls tend to pop up and so I wanted uh, something that was easy for me to reference and I, I purchased that skull and like I said it's just sitting right there in front of me uh, so I can view that and um, right now now I'm starting in with those tones and we're gonna work our way from the lightest tone to the darkest tone and for um, I'm using Copic markers and those are amazing Copic markers for blending, um, especially on bristle paper, which is what I'm using here. 
and so I'm working from what is called C1 so it's just it's a cool gray tone so C1 then go to C3 C5 C7 C9 all the way to special black or just you know just really really dark black and so I'm just going over all what the dark pieces the lights coming from the top and so the pieces at the very bottom are going to be the blackest the darkest pieces and now you see there I'm going in with the the blackest black um, so I know where that tonal scale ends you know what starts getting lost in the piece and I really went with his armor uh, that's on his shoulders to start when they get lower and lower on the piece to blend into the black because that's um, and now I'm setting up for my splatter effects so right now I'm cutting out a little piece to block off that word bubble and I'm going to use the special device I have for Copic markers and it uses the marker as a, um, a, a spray device so I can actually spray ink onto the page and so I can get those lighter tones and build up those tones a little bit more. I'm, I put the white thing on top of the face to save some of those details because then I'm going to go in and start splattering the the piece. I'm going to start splattering with black from a toothbrush and then I'll splatter it with white from a toothbrush. So here we go. Some boom boom boom. I'm spraying in, spraying in, spraying in. Looking real nice. Then I got that splatter. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's, it's really affects the piece. It gives this very versatile, like, uh, this hardcore look. I'm using just the, yep, there we go. Boom, there's the white. You can see it. And I'm streaking some of it. I'm using that toothbrush almost as a, as a literal brush to streak the piece. And then we come to the final product here, which I'm super satisfied with. And just clarifying some of those black details that got lost. I'll sign the bottom. And there we go. There's Battle Beast in all of his rage and glory right there. And this piece is available for purchase, just let me know. Thank you guys, and have a good one.